Shalom, Shalom, Kahala, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. My name is Only Begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And real quick, I want to give this another quick jab. Um, double honor to the elders and the apostles, the great millstone, taught us his truth, the truth, and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the whole four legs scattered abroad. Now, real quick, I'm on my break, so I'm going to knock this out, you know, um, pretty fast. But you see on the screen right here, this Jake, and he's wearing, now, does he look happy first and foremost? Does he look happy? No, he doesn't look happy. But he's wearing a dress, uh, you know, a damn skirt, man. <gasps> okay, and some damn, you know, um, um, Mary Poppins shoes. All right, now, I saw this tweet. It says, only time a black man is celebrated is when he's emasculated, okay? And I guarantee you this man was wearing some masculine clothes and, you know, um... He was dressed, you know, um, more, um, um, you know, masculinely. You know, he probably wouldn't have gotten this job or whatever, or 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 be in the position that he is in right now. I believe that's like a ball player, a basketball player. But it, but it showed you that in order for these, you know, these Jakes that that that's in that world to stay in that world, you have to, you know, um, degrade yourself. Okay, you have to go against the ways of your God. Okay, how about Shin Yao Shai? And this proves that we are still in captivity, man. Okay, now Edomites, they they uh, do this for fun. But Jake don't want to do this, you know. And he understands that if his grandma was to see him like this or his, you know, his friends, you know, his old homies from the hood would see him like this, then they wouldn't, uh, uh, um, they would not, you know, appreciate it. So that's why, you know, this is a, 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 a shame for us, man. But this just goes to show that we're still in captivity. All right, let's grab that. This is Baruch chapter 3 verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. Thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse. We have been scattered for a reproach and a curse, man. Okay, when you see Jake, you know, you see these these curses on him, man. You see this reproach. You see these, you know. It says, and to be subject to payments. So this man, he had to do this, man. You could tell he had to do this. He didn't really have a choice. Does he look happy about it? No. But he had to do it because, well, he's subject to them payments, man. He got to pay them bills. Okay, and a lot of these ball players, they get in that industry or whatever, and they go buy a big-ass house, they go buy all these cars, and then you don't realize that now, that, that now you're a debt slave because you got to continue to, to, to pay those bills or it's all going to be taken from you. Okay, so we are subject to payments. It says, according to, the, to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. Okay, so because of our fathers, our forefathers departed from the Lord, our power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we have been subject to payments. Okay, we have been put in this captivity and for a reproach and a curse. Okay, so much so that you got, you know, grown as men, you know, doing things that are unseemly. Okay, and the Lord warned us about this, man. He said, we're not supposed to be doing this. And if you're doing this, you are an abomination unto him. Deuteronomy chapter 32, it's like Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto Yahweh thy power. So this is an abomination, man. Okay, which means, you know, filthy, disgusting, you know, shameful to, to, to the Lord when he sees this. Okay, he ain't even got no damn pockets, man. He got to hold his phone in his hand. <laughs> It's absolute madness, man. But according to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, this is an abomination. He hates this. Okay, he hates this. And we hate this. To see this type of madness, you know, being pushed throughout the earth, we hate this, man. Okay. This is absolutely wicked. But what this does is, it, is it's pushing it to, to, to your children to, um, you know, be in, be in the same spirit. Okay. To be in the same spirit. And these Jakes, they, you know, they might not think nothing of it. That's why they ultimately do it. Because they don't understand the, the ultimate re re repercussions of that, man. Okay, let me grab this real quick. Because, see, when, a, when you know, but before feminism, even when we, even the woman did not wear pants. Okay, but because, because you got this damn devil in power and pushing his agendas, you know, our people are completely lost and confused. Um... I don't know what's going on, man. Here we go. Zeph uh, Zeph Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the day of Yahweh's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such 
as are clothed with strange apparel. Okay. Um, so this right here is strange apparel, man. Okay. This is strange. When the Lord comes back, he's not going to be able to identify you as a man. He gonna, you know, he ain't going to see, he ain't going to be able to identify you. You're going to look crazy to, to, to the Lord. Why the fuck is this motherfucker wearing a skirt? You know? And then the Lord going to have to just destroy you, man. The Lord's going to have to destroy you. And that's why majority of our people are going to end up being destroyed because of what? And that's why the scripture says this. Let's, let's grab that. This is uh, sec, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse... Um, Let me, let me, let's, let's, let's go up. Uh, verse 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, like this pure doctrine, you know, you're not consent to wholesome words, you're teaching otherwise. Even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shahim Mashiach, was told you not supposed to wear that type, just type, just type of clothes, man. You're not supposed to put on a woman's garment. In the doctrine, in, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud knowing nothing. But doteth about questions and strikes um, of words, whereof, whereof cometh envy and strife and railings, oh, railings, evil sermonings, dis, uh, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds. Your mind has been corrupted and destitute of truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. So you got certain men out there. That believe that gain and money, as long as you got fame and rich and you rich, that that's godliness, man. Like I said, I had a nigga come on my, my, my messages the other day. Told me about how, oh, you can't talk about Esau, man. Esau got uh, at least $10,000 in that bank. If you don't got at least $10,000 in your bank account, don't worry about Esau. Just go get your money up. Then you can talk about Esau. Nigga, you finna die, okay? <laughs> the Lord is gonna kill you and burn you with that damn money. All right? It says, verse 6, but godliness with contentment is great gain so godliness with contentment and this is not godly man you don't need a, a fucking hundred million dollars you know that's being content you know just having you know hey you be yeah 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 your basic necessities is all you need you don't need a, a hundred million dollars man okay and that's gonna keep you godly that's gonna keep you in a godly spirit but if you gotta if you going off with all, all this money and, and, and great gain they're gonna have your ass like this right here man this is this is what trying to get rich in the society is, is gonna is gonna have you man Looking sick, nigga. Looks sad as hell, man. He know he, he know his dad ashamed of him. It says, "For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out." So why the fuck would you put yourself in a predicament like this, where you gotta, you know, because these pictures are gonna are, are gonna be there for the rest of your life, man. Okay, of you in a damn skirt, you know. You gotta lift it up and take a piss. It says, "Um, we ha and having food and raiment, let us be there with content." But they that be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. That's what you see right here. They that be rich, they got to do this shit, man. OK, so, so somebody he came, he, 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 he went into his, you know, um, his, 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 his dressing room or whatever. And and, 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 and they had this laid out for him. So this is this, this what you're going to wear today. These motherfuckers can't even decide what they're going to wear. They, 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 they have they, they have they have to. Um, be told what to wear. It's like prison, man. Like you go to prison, you can't wear what you want to wear in prison. They got a, they got a dress code for your ass. Same thing in this industry, man. Okay, so if, so if you go to you know those that be rich fall into many to temptation and snares and many foolish and hurtful lusts, destroying yourself. It says for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and piercing themselves through with many sorrows. Okay, and that's what you see on this guy's face. He, he, you know, he, 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 he threw. But thou, O man of God, Yahweh thou shy, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. Uh, thou that art called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses, man. Okay, so is this man professing a good profession before many witnesses? No, this is a bad profession. This is wickedness, man. Okay, and if he don't get right, he gonna he 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 gonna be destroyed. Which not a lot of these chicks ain't gonna repent, and they will ultimately have to die. Okay, ultimately have to be destroyed. But that best, I'm saying, Shalom, Kwame Sharala, Ababa, Ababa, Praise the Lord, Edifying the Lord, Folek, Shalom.